Hello everybody and welcome back to another uh, announcement video. So again, I am uh, reversed here. Um, sorry, dropped something. Uh, I'm reversed here just because I've got my phone right up to my laptop and the way that my phone works is if I have the camera. Any anyway, that's irrelevant. I'm excited to announce a, uh, a new release from one of my favorite record labels, 7A Records out of the UK. Now, uh, 7A has released some fantastic uh, archival releases of the Monkees, whether it's um, the Live at the Troubadour show from Mike Nesmith, the, the McCabe tapes that Mike Nesmith did with Red Roads. Then there was also the original material, such as the fantastic uh, Dolan Sings Nesmith album, which came out last year. And in just a few days, we're going to be seeing the release of the Dolan Sings Nesmith EP on vinyl and CD. So that's very exciting. But the newest announcement is a reissue, 50th anniversary reissue of probably my favorite Mike Nesmith solo album. And that's in the hits just keep on coming. And, um, so they've released the statement that today's the today's the ninth that I'm filming this, and this is what they said directly from their Facebook page. So they say Seven A Records are pleased to announce the 50th anniversary edition of Michael Nesmith's groundbreaking solo album, and the hits just keep on coming. The 1972 album has been remastered and expanded with bonus tracks. The CD edition comes with a 28-page color booklet featuring extensive liner notes and previously unpublished photos. The vinyl edition comes in a gatefold sleeve and is pressed on 180 gram, what they call honey colored vinyl, which if you know what the album cover looks like, it's kind of like that. The album is released on May 13th and then they give a um, list of where you can order it from the UK or the US. Uh, in the U.S., you can order it from deepdiscount.com, and they have both the vinyl and CD CD um, copies all on their website. I've already pre-ordered mine. It's very exciting. Uh, they, they've been teasing this album now for about two weeks where they showed a, a box on their social media page showing the, the spines of the CDs, and um, it appeared to originally look like it was a, a, a two-CD set, but come to find out, it's just a larger booklet in the CD, similar to uh, the Dolan Sings Nesmith album. So you have the songs on here. Um, if you know Michael Nesmith, you know the songs. But for those of you that don't, uh, the track listing is Tomorrow and Me, The Upside of Goodbye, Lady Love, Listening, Two Different Roads, The Candidate, Different Drum, Harmony Constant, Keep On, which is my favorite on the, on the album, and then the song Roll With The Flow. Then they have bonus tracks, um, all of which I already have um, on a, a CD that came out on a box set um, a few years back. But the bonus tracks are an alternate version of some of Shelley's Blues, an alternate version of Keep On, an alternate version of Roll With The Flow, and then an instrumental tune called Cantata and Fugue in C and W. Now, uh, this album, as you know, is essentially a, a solo acoustic album. It's Nesmith on his 12-string uh, acoustic guitar, and then he has accompaniment by his um, longtime collaborator, OJ Red Rhodes, on the pedal steel guitar. Now, Mike Nesmith, the reason the album's called In the Hits Just Keep On Coming, Nesmith had released a series of albums um, where he wasn't putting out hits. And so they, they said, you know, we have another another album um, he, he so essentially he put out the album knowing he wasn't going to have a hit off of this one. Um, obviously, a different drum had been out years before. It was an older track that he was just now getting around to recording a solo version of, but it had already been uh, covered by uh, Linda Ronstadt and Nesmith was singing this song um, a few years before the Monkees were even a glimmer in his eye. So. Um, so what, so what it is, it says, The Hits Just Keep On Coming became Nesmith's most critically acclaimed album and is today generally viewed as an iconic, groundbreaking marvel in the annals of country rock music. 
It says, to mark the album's 50th anniversary, 7A Records have remastered the album and included four bonus tracks that will see their first ever release on vinyl. Uh, the album is released on CD, a 28-page color booklet with the liner notes and photos. So um, it's very, very cool. I've already ordered it. I cannot wait to, to spin it and see what it's like. Uh, let me know if y'all are getting it. I know uh, I've got my friends Tommy Burton out there, uh, Chris Prophy, I know will be ordering it, and I'm sure that uh, Glenn Kellaway from The Basement will be ordering it as well. But will anybody else uh, out there order this album? Let me know. Uh, let me know if you know the album at all. And uh, yeah, 7A, you've done it again. I can already tell it's going to be a good one. So y'all take care, and I'll talk to y'all real soon.